Who has been the biggest influence on your life so far? Oh, wow. Okay, how did you go from sword fighting with Tom Cruise to who's been the biggest influence on my life? <laughs> That's a big, big question. Wow, let me think about it. Well, I would have to say my parents were the biggest influence because they laid a, a foundation that's pretty sturdy. They laid, they laid me a really sturdy foundation. And then my kids. My parents and my kids. What did your parents instill in you that, you know, had such an influence, I guess, on your career choice? Like you started age 21 when you were on Fame, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, 22. Yes. Well, I think they, they instilled the belief that whatever I wanted to achieve, I could. As long as I believed <clears throat> and was willing to work for it. And I think that has stood me well. Although the working hard for it, for it <laughs> there's another there's another piece to that that's really big, I think, and it's um, it's great to have a good work ethic. That's really important, but you also have to look up and be willing to allow things to kind of evolve in a manner that you weren't anticipating. Because there's something great that you couldn't have even seen that might be there. And then the greatest things that have happened to me have happened that way. So it's about being open-minded. Yeah, absolutely. And it's funny because you have to kind of aim toward what you're trying to achieve, but have loose fingers so it can move. And you, it's, it's more than going with the flow. It's being open to a greater blessing that's out there, really. Are you a spiritual person? I would have to say so, yeah. Not religious, but spiritual. And tell me now, you're, we were talking about earlier about... Uh, rites of passage, your birthday is coming up and you were saying that you're going to do something, you know, traditional with the Native Indians. Can you tell me that's a bit right, about that? That's right. After we have a wild and crazy party <laughs> on the 10th of December, um, the women are going to go to the Chumash Indian village and go through two days of rite of passage um, ceremonies, which should be phenomenal. I mean, I don't really know much about it. But I do know that I wanted to take the time to kind of spiritually sit and allow myself to be, as opposed to accomplishing anything or trying to get anywhere or be anything. I just wanted to exist and breathe as I am. And I think those two days, those two, it's three days and two nights actually, are going to be wonderful. I'm very do excited. Do you think it's a case of bringing you back to basics, you know, kind of... I think what happens in, in life, you, you have all of these experiences and they're adding to who you are. They're helping you evolve in a certain way. But the habits that you live to maintain the kind of lifestyle that you have, to maintain the relationships that you have, they are habits and they are the same. And I think at some point they start getting out of sync with each other. And so you have to be still to allow them to shake loose and kind of catch up where you'll be able to look at some habits and go, wait a minute, I don't need that anymore. Or I really kind of need this instead. And so I think that's really important. So it's going to be really reevaluating your life, I guess. It is, but almost in a non-active way. Because I think um, when... when I hear the word evaluate, that's an active role where you sit and you think about what is and make lists and do that sort of thing. Whereas I think there's a spiritual component that when you shut down the busyness of your mind, the truth of what is can come forth. Okay, that sounded really scary spiritual. <laughs> I didn't mean it to sound that very, very... <laughs> But I just think that there's, without my mind in the way, there are just some truths that, that come forth, and you just are. And you get to greet who you are most naturally, again, without trying to be anything. But you have to allow yourself just to exist, so that that voice gets turned up. The one that you're always pushing down because your mind is going, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to be this. 